This is Arts Alive. I'm Linda Phillippe, and my guests today are Bill Miller and Jill Poyer. Bill is, uh, I guess, the chair of the Artist Village this year over Turkey Rama Weekend, July 9th and 10th. And Jill, of course, is the director of the McMinnville Public Library. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Can't wait to hear it. It's, it's getting closer. Oh, yes, it is. I mean, we are right now just a little outside of three weeks, and um, everything is coming together. Uh, just wonderfully. In fact, the reason why I wanted to sort of update you mm -hmm. on the show is to tell you that we have our full stable of artists. Yay, okay. Yay. Uh, things were a little slow at the beginning, mm -hmm. but uh, we got actually over 80 artists applied. Fabulous. And we have uh, 50 artists okay. and really looking forward to a tremendous event this year that's going to be uh, far broader uh, in the kind of art that we have. In fact, I know uh, I brought some images to show. I don't know Good. if they'll, okay. they'll be coming up periodically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, of the uh, 50 artists that will be in the village, a uh, little over 32, 33 are brand new to the area. Wow, great. So, uh, and their art will be brand new. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've also been able to expand it. Ah, there's one of them. Uh, they're showing some of our, our work that's going on. This. Oh, they're moving quickly, I can see. <laughs> but uh, that's Shannon Ray's work, and uh, that's actually what's on the screen right now is um, the fused glass. But let me just talk, and then they'll show it as we mm -hmm. go. Um, give you an idea what we have happening. Uh, this year, we've got, of course, the acrylic and the oil painters, as we always do, pen and pencil sketching. We've got ink work. Uh, we've got a remarkable stable, a lot of new ones. Uh, Robert Kino is a young man who does portraits of animals. Oh. And they're so sweet. Hmm. They are pet just portraits. Pet portraits. Okay. But, but with a, a, a whimsical flair mm -hmm. to them. Uh, Shannon Ray is coming in, and Shannon has a lot of her work in the area. Oh, um, yeah. You've probably seen some of it. Mm -hmm. She'll be doing these gorgeous landscapes. Um, there's an interesting couple that we're going to have, uh, Rick and Wendy Givens, and they do a very modern, uh, stylistic type of painting. Okay. Uh, very illustrative look, very, mm -hmm. very different than the others. And then, I don't know if you know uh, the Blackwells, Marilyn Blackwell, Tim and Marilyn. Okay. Um, they set up the Blackwell Gallery on 3rd Street several mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Okay. Well, Marilyn, his wife, will be showing this year as well. Great. And doing her abstract work. Great. So we've got that involved. Uh, but then we have other things. We have, uh, like, Alita Houston, or Huston, uh, does, uh, I guess you'd call them constructs, combinations. Okay. And Alita's work is a mixture of photography and objects and the written word. And, uh, I love that kind of yeah, stuff. This yeah, this is you it's know, so just, different and interesting. Yeah, very different, very mm -hmm. interesting. Um, as all as well as always, you know, we're going to have Liz Santanay there mm -hmm. doing uh, her felt work. Okay, she'll be sharing a tent with Mike. Mm -hmm. And but we have a new felt worker as well. Um, that's Jan Gottfried. Okay, and Jan does gorgeous work as well. She's bringing her felt work. Uh, and then what I'm really excited about is we have a lot more three-dimensional this year. Okay. Uh, we've got a great deal of fused glass. Uh, we've got four fused glass artists coming in. Wow. And they'll be doing work from bowls to plates to three-dimensional art. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we've got, like, Lynn Kennison, who does fused glass jewelry in addition to masks Jewelry. Ooh, you see all the bling you've got Ooh, on today. You'd jewelry. like some of that fused glass jewelry. <laughs> My favorite. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we've got that area covered. Potters this year, we've got five or six potters, three, four of them brand oh, new. Oh, fabulous. And Mike Santanay will be mm -hmm. there, of course. And uh, So we could get some more pictures of him with his glasses on his nose. Yes. Showing some <laughs> lucky child how to do something. And we can, he's our poster child, isn't yes. he? Yes. Yes, I, we love I, Mike. I, I do have to admit, I don't know if I'm on camera right now, but yeah, as you know, you are. Yes. Mike is our poster child for this event. Well, and he also, you also took the really fabulous photograph of him that we use for the opening and closing of this show. 
That's true. Yeah. He's so, everywhere. I should mention right now while we have you on camera that you are the person who did all the photography of the all the images that we use in the opening and closing of our show. Bill Miller, right here. Thank you. Okay. It's very so anyway. nice to have it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, like I'm saying, I'm excited because this year we have so much new and different types of art out there mm -hmm. for people to, to see and hopefully to buy. I am so excited for the, that this event is happening. I mean, I think this is the most exciting, you know, art happening in McMinnville in a long time because it's it, obviously it's really grown from the first few that you did downtown. I mean, you were a little bit constrained mm -hmm. just by the venue, mm -hmm. by the amount of space that you had. And this is going to be so nice and so cool and green and fabulous. I'm really excited about it. Oh, the, the venue itself is mm -hmm. tremendous. It's wonderful. Uh, Linfield College. Uh, we say under the oaks at Linfield. Mm -hmm. You bet. Um, mm -hmm. And then what we've also done is tied in for one day with uh, the Turkey Rama celebration mm -hmm. so that folks can park downtown and take the trolley out to Linfield if mm -hmm. they want to and then back into mm -hmm. town or over to Wartman Park, get some lunch, park at any of the three venues they want, and mm -hmm. then just use that to get around and enjoy the whole thing. Yeah, it makes it a lot, uh, I guess, more festive when you're not driving around scrambling for a parking place. Right. And it's two-hour parking, and you got to go with the car. Right. Well, now, that's an advantage we yeah. have at Linfield. We have great parking. Mm -hmm, that's true. Mm -hmm. There's parking on the campus, throughout the campus, in the, in the lots. You know, the school itself will be pretty vacant, mm -hmm. so uh, we won't have a lot of conflicts with the students. And so it, it's going to be a great opportunity. People will be able to park close by. Sure. And be able to get in and get out easily. And then, again, use the trolley if they want on Saturday to uh, visit. If they're not familiar with McMinnville, and I hope we have a lot of folks that come in. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Fact, uh, let me know. ask you now, do you have food? Will you have food down there? We do have food. Okay. And we're going to have at least three food venues. Okay, and again, I, you know, I didn't have the names last time, and I don't have them this time. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's okay, but you, you, but you do have the food. Of what we do, and, and uh, the purpose yeah. for it was, uh, unlike some of the other art events, that they really get heavily into food and mm -hmm. heavily into wines, we are going to have food, and we're going to have actually seven or eight of the Iola Amity Hills AVA there, okay. of, the, of the vineyards, Mm -hmm. who will be doing tastings of wine. And we wanted to expand it to add that flavor, if you will, mm -hmm. for the pun, mm -hmm. but to make it also for folks that, you know, if they want to sample a little wine, get a little something to eat, mm -hmm. they don't have to run away to do it. Mm -hmm. They can do it while they're there mm -hmm. and then enjoy themselves even longer and, and stay and, and see the art. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, with the art, I was, I was saying what we have there, uh, of course, we have a couple of photographers. I'm not in it, but uh, <laughs> we do Manny. have a couple of great new <laughs> photographers, Ron Wolf and Ron Dombrowski, okay. who will be showing their work. And this year we've got sculpture and metalwork, uh, freestanding, three-dimensional. Uh, uh, there's a, another artist that uh, was recently in, in fact, he was in the on, uh, Oregonian this weekend, Robert Fulton. Oh, right, okay. Mm -hmm. It does those fused glass mm -hmm. globes, and mm -hmm. that's actually garden art to a great extent. Mm -hmm. So uh, Robert Fulton's going to be there as well. I just spoke to him the other day, and he had a wonderful article on him. And we actually have, and I, the only name I have for it is Zale. They make this incredibly beautiful furniture. Ooh, they're they're nice. like sculptural mm. pieces of stone and metal. Oh, wow. And they're furniture. But it's furniture. It's, mm -hmm. it's outdoor furniture. And, uh, okay. But they, they produce this beautiful. We saw them down at the Corvallis show mm -hmm. and invited them to come up for this one. And so what we're going to have this time is just a lot of stuff for people to come look at, to enjoy, hopefully to buy. Mm -hmm. Sure. And uh, prices... There will be something there for everyone at every ability to purchase. Mm -hmm. So it, it's not necessarily that high-end show that mm -hmm. you know you go to look but don't touch type. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a, a show where we're an gonna, all inclusive, all inclusive, <laughs> all inclusive, right? So in fact, that's why we actually call this Art in Mac, mm -hmm. as well as the Artist Village. Mm -hmm. We're sort of transitioning, and I use the two terms universally. 
Uh, the Artist Village is the critical part of everything here. But we want to make the event a real fine arts community event and turn it, enlarge it, if you will, into the Art and Mac. That's why our website is artandmac.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Last show I was told not to say. That's what okay, to say dot com on public television because oh. it's a commercial enterprise and we're a nonprofit. Yeah, but so that's, that's why. That's not the dot org. Yeah, I should, should, shouldn't have done that. You didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's all right. But I would like to also talk, not me talk about, but have Jill talk about um, some of the the new things that are happening this year, particularly with our emerging artists. Maybe, oh, please, Jill, yes. you could give yeah. background on the whys, what's, and hows, and how it all happened. Well, this, this really is new to Artist Village. We haven't done this before. And what we did is early on in the semester, we contacted all of the art teachers in Yamhill County. So we had Yamhill Carlton, we had Newburgh, we have uh, MACA as well as MAC High, Dayton, uh, the Delphian School, and Amity. So um, we had er contacted them early and asked if they would make a selection of an artist from their school that would show at our artist village. Okay. The, this artist would not be required to pay any entry fees or would not be juried by our jurying uh, people, but instead would be juried by the teacher at the particular school. Mm -hmm. They were encouraged to do a portfolio. Each of them got one of these um, brochures kind of detailing what we expected because we expected it to be a learning process for the mm -hmm. students, how to build a portfolio, right. how, to, how to show and display your work, how to format maps and make it presentable, just kind of the whole gamut. And then, you know, basically what a professional artist would have to do to be included into a show. So we did that, and I was, you know, hoping to get maybe four or five of the you know, high schools actually select somebody, but instead we got seven. We were real right. happy with that. Um, the only two that weren't able to display or didn't choose a student this year was Willamina and Sheridan. And as we were talking earlier, one of the reasons is, is they don't have really an art program there. They don't mm -hmm. maybe have an art, a full-time art studio, uh, art teacher or a full-time art curriculum there. They are interested in doing it, but they just couldn't come up with anything the first year. Mm -hmm. So each of these students was selected in May, and then they were awarded a $100 um, award certificate from Sunrise Rotary, and that was presented to them either at a senior assembly or some other appropriate mm -hmm. time by the art teacher that was involved. So they got the recognition. We gave them a, uh, a little plaque and everything and then but but what we've given them is the opportunity the opportunity to come to Sunrise mm -hmm. Rotary Artist Village there's going to be a two tents actually set up for the emerging artists um, most of the artists are doing two-dimensional work a few of them are doing three-dimensional and it's in its pottery um, but that's, you know, what's kind of available in the schools. Sure, sure. So um, I'd like the opportunity to read their names off because Absolutely, they have please. all... Um, you bet. I'll let you know who they are mm -hmm. and what they're showing, basically. Um, the first one is from the Newburg High School, and she's a senior. Her name is Allison Fluter, and she does ceramics and two-dimensional. That's about all I've gotten from her right now. Um, from Dayton High School, we actually have a junior who is going to be a senior next year, Kaylee Malay. And she does some pencil watercolors of animals, and she will be showing five of her drawings, a couple of them that are quite large. Mm -hmm. 